course, people always have the right for a peaceful protest, but what we saw were people uh, throwing items at her, throwing uh, liquids at a speaker who was wanting the ability to freely speak. I do not want our society to become a divided society where we resort to physical aggression to suppress people's individual opinions. That is not a society I want New Zealand to be. We should be a peaceful society that allows people to hold a range of different views where we can openly debate and use reason and logic to come to analysis of ideas rather than physical acts of aggression and intimidation. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not gonna let that cringy revisionist history stand. If you look to the experience of thousands of Aucklanders who turned up to showcase that trans rights are human rights, then you will see thousands of people who had an experience of a peaceful protest. And I am really proud of the fact that Aucklanders, that New Zealanders showed up in their thousands to utilise their free speech to showcase that we will not tolerate intolerance. Were you disappointed though to see some of the some of the incidents, like someone pouring? Of course, and to that effect, Maddie, I'd say that in engaging with the organisers, they made a concerted and dogged effort to pull out of the way and to de-escalate situations that they did not condone the behaviour of. Just on uh, what happened with Eliana. What you're talking about there uh, is somebody who came to this country as an asylum seeker, as somebody who had been persecuted in their country as an intersex trans woman by virtue of who she is, who came to this place because it was a safe country. She has had the direct experience of the kind of rhetoric that we are talking about escalating into violence. I, I think it's really important that we address that actually what did play out on the weekend was that marketplace of ideas. Because bad things happen when good people stand idly by.